All right, YouTube, we're going to play another League of Blue White. So let's go Competitive Modern. Join a League. <clears throat> I think this list is a little off and where I should have like some number of I think I should have less Snapcaster Mages. I think I, have, I should just have like a straight Disenchant in my sideboard somewhere. And I don't think I need a Disdainful Stroke. I think when I have the, like the Disdainful Stroke is just more cards for like the control matchup and Tron. And I think with like Illumination, I have a decent like control matchup and I can find cards when I play against Tron. If you get into that weird grindy version of our matchup. Um, so I think I want, like, a Celestial Purge. There's not a lot of black and red permanents. Well, I guess there's enough of them. And then maybe, like, a dis just a straight Disenchant. Moving forward. I think those are the cards I'm in the market for. God, it's taking so long to get a match. It's taking us a while to get a match, and we are just a bit laggy tonight. I don't know why. We're at plenty of... Our bit rate's fine, but... Mm, I think I gotta mulligan this. Just got one land. Which is unfortunate. Alright, we have lands and spells. And that is a good one as well. So let's play this tapped. Pass it over. Temple Garden. Temple Garden tapped and they kept on seven. That's interesting. Probably some like green white. Is it boggles? Oh, it's like some Kiki Chord deck. Yes. Some like Eldritch Evolution pile. They're like Eldritch, they're gonna like go evolution into a witness, get this wall ones back. Oh man. That sucks. That was my way to get out of this. How long have I been streaming MTGO on Twitch? I think almost two years. Kind of like not consistently. Like I, I stream probably every I don't know. I usually stream probably twice a week. Sometimes three times a week, but I average about twice a week over the last couple of years. I don't think I want any of these lands. Like, I'm not really in a hurry to hard cast this terminus. And I would like to just find some gas. Turn off auto yields. Oh, I wanted to snipe that tracker. Got lazy. So we're playing some like Naya value deck. Naya mid range. It's probably a Kiki Core deck. Like no other deck plays Wall Omens. Oh, we keep cryptic something. Or like the Cryptic Commander Collecting Company or another Night of the Relic or a Night of the Reliquary. Probably wouldn't, well, probably would. Another wall, we'll let that go.
They can court of calling for two, which isn't that scary. So I am think I do think I'm just gonna get rid of this. They can court for three. If they go float, get an untap one. Even mind sensor. This guy has got a little bit of everything. Joke's on you. Now I want to hit an untapped land. I think we're just going to get rid of, we're just going to wipe the board here. Get these off the board. The other cards replace themselves, but I'm fairly certain that like, this is like some kind of a creature synergy deck and keeping the board clear is just never bad. Do you play other formats? Yeah, I play Standard, and I sometimes play Legacy. I'm going to stream some Standard when the new set comes out. I have some ideas for new cards that I want to try. Gwenelendra Archmage. Well, we got to counter that. Yeah, this is just like a straight Kiki Core deck. This is right out of Jeff Hoogland's playbook. Snapcaster is what we are looking for. Trying to help us grind back into this game. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with that one. Just snap cryptic. And then we're probably just going to ghost court this firelet thicket on our turn. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for Guilds of Ravnica. I got some ideas for some decks that I don't think might not be that good, but are probably going to be a lot of fun. Like... Well, I, think, I think it might be good. Like, I want to play a blue-white control deck with the jumpstart mechanic that plays um, that plays like Nexus of Fate. Like play the the jumpstart draw two and the uh, the jumpstart draw two. A field's nice. I'm just not gonna go down, mana. The I'm like pick it up. Finish what I'm saying. The jumpstart draw two and the jumpstart think twice. Scavengers, okay. So we're going to path the ooze before we do any Field of Ruin shenanigans. I could just fire this colonnade up and get this over with. But they likely have path to exile. If they tap out here, I think I'm going to... I think I'm probably afford to get a shot in with this colonnade and ghost quarter this um, firelit thicket. We do have to kill our opponents at some point. And a shot for six is decent. Then we can hit their hit this firelight ticket on their draw step. So I'm fairly certain. As long as you enjoy the deck, then it's good. Yeah, and it's kind of I mean I guess it depends on what your goals are in magic. What do we got here? We got a spell caller they're flashing in, a deceiver exarch. Alright. Alright, so they're out of basics. So this is how many basics they have. Unless we think they have basics in their hand. Alright, so now they're halfway to the old Kiki Jiki. I guess I can just cord for it. Cord for five, gross. They got it. Yeah. Yep, they got it. My goal is to have fun and win games. Okay. Then that's what you should be doing. They got us. All right. I don't really have a lot of cards for this matchup. Dispel is probably fine because I'm assuming they're going to have Cord Path. They might have Collected Company, but that's, that might be a little not quite accurate. Um, I would like to just kind of keep pace. Maybe Dispel is not good enough. 
Dispel is probably better than some of my random removal. I'm sure all the board wipes are good. Maybe Vendillion Click's not that great. Negate's probably not that great either. Like, Dispel is probably not good either, but it costs one mana. That's probably poor. We're going to go with it. That's probably poor to, like, to board with that kind of idea. But they might also board, if they're a blue deck, they might have some counter spells they board in. So the Dispels might be a little better. I would like to play, yes. And I would like to keep. This is a matchup where I think casting Illumination for two is going to be pretty important. We're on the 61 card special. So we're not going to we'll play a tap land. That's good for the home team. The Jace is decent. What is this? Hmm. Wall of Roots, probably? No, Pride Mage. All right, we're just going to take out this Pride Mage. No. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to keep the board clear. Get this out of here. Because... If we can keep the board like somewhat clear next turn, yeah, so land. Come on, damn it. There's our land. I think we want both of these. So let's put this on top. We just want to hit land drop, especially when we're going to be landing a Jace. I might just cycle my illumination also to just to make sure I hit my land drops. I don't know if I'd be doing so much with my mana. I think uh, the cards isn't the issue now. Hey, Ray, how you doing? I'm gonna go Jace bounce this voice. I don't uh, I don't want to path this thing. And keep the board clear. Just get this, pick this thing up. And he's like an exalted creature's not gonna come down and kill it. I really don't want to pat. I think I might actually just like go supreme verdict on this and then bounce the token. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I really don't want to give my opponent a land. I'd like to set up a clear board. One, two, three. I actually can field field this red source. Go get a planes. Maybe I should have because I can go get planes and threaten to path their voice. So I guess I can like put field put Supreme Verdict on the stack and then see what they do. <clears throat> Y'all done work for the night, Ray? Oh, they did that, so that's okay. So now we're just going to verdict, get this voice out of here, bounce the token. Then hopefully, play Jace. Hopefully, just have a super stable board next turn. Voice of Resurgence is just very annoying. So yeah, we got that out there. We got lucky there. I mean, my opponent just missed the land drops and then did anything to do. I do think it was a good idea to like contain the voice though. Just get the voice off the table, untap and have mana. These cre these cards might be pretty solid. I don't, I don't think the dispels are very good. Yeah, I think about jamming some legacy cube, dude. The legacy cube's so awesome. I think my counter spells are likely worse on the draw. So let's. 
They probably, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to go like this, because they probably cut um, whatever it is after sideboard. They're definitely going to cut um, some of their creature removal. My favorite things to do with Legacy Cube is obviously like the blue red Splinter Twin deck. And then I like the Ram decks. Those are my favorite ones. We have a bunch of paths. We get some removal. We could fall behind pretty quickly, but I think we're going to keep this. I did self imposed tip that the other day and actually threw out. What'd you do? What was the stipulation behind what you were doing, Ray? No turn one play is good. Now the name of the game is we're just going to give them a bunch of mana and hopefully we can play Jace on an empty board. And that's why like this deck is more of like, I feel like just a Jun deck than a control deck because you just you're just so efficient and you just don't even really care what your opponent's doing and you just kind of overpower it because all your cards are just so good noble hierarch um This could induce a Restoration Angel. Mind Sensor. Oh, I always I never play around the Mind Sensor. Never get punished either, which is great. I don't think I want either of these. Right now, we're looking for just a board wipe. Glenelg to Archmage, that is scary. I wonder if they have a blue duel. They're fetching. Fetching a blue duel. Okay, so there's no no more time to wonder. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. <coughs> Probably gonna try to path this on their turn. Just try to like upkeep it. They don't have too much mana going on. They don't have too much else going on. They don't have a lot of cards, but they have a board that's pretty scary. The step was to take any lands and planeswalkers I saw, so I ended up being five players. That's like that's also a very fun deck to draft. I guess I could have actually played field and then fielded this and then dealt with this because we know they don't play a basic. Yeah, that was so stupid. I should have played field, dealt with this blue source, and then path this Archmage. Yep, that would have been the big brain thing to do. Probably going to look to do it next turn then. Like, hope they tap Noble Hierarch for some reason. I can't even, like... Yeah, this was just not, this was loose all over the place. It's Eternal Witness, get back a land. Yeah, I messed this up all over the place. And now I'm just going to do this now so that at least I save damage. I'm probably just going to fetch to hope. Definitely should do that. And then hopefully I find a land here. God, we're so good at this game. Like counter target non creature spell. Should have played in my field. Oh, we're all over the place.
They're going for four. We're gonna let this happen. Then I'm gonna bounce this Glenel into Archmage and draw a card. Selfless Spirit. Okay, that's good. So we have six power. Uh, return. Turn target permanent to his hand, draw a card. And if they let this happen, at least we draw a card off of it. And if they don't, if they just like send it back to their hand, then we do at least get the cycle. And if they don't, we don't have to deal with it coming back down. We might be able to set something up like a quick Jace. So this is countered it. Okay. They're hellbent. So terminus. Those are some good ones. We'll hold up this mana leak that will never ever counter anything. The nice thing is that I know there's two lands on top of my deck, so I know I'm going to be able to find something off this Aven Mind Sensor. Which is pretty good. They are going at Jace. Which is good. So Chase bought us, got us a good shuffle. Get this hollow fountain tapped. Snapcaster is good also because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can play, have snap path up. No, we can't. So hopefully next turn we're good. We're going to hold our breath here. If we can get this Baneslayer Angel in play, then we can have Snapcaster up. They have to go like, they have to go Cord. Well, I guess Cord of Calling actually kills me. Unless I path the, um, path one of the combo pieces. So this Baneslayer Angel is going to do some pretty serious work. The pause is always good. After you cast Baneslayer Angel, the post-Angel pause is great. Tireless Tracker, okay. Key Cord in 2018, for sure, dude. This is annoying. All right, well, I might as well do nothing. I could have Mana Leaked to tap my opponent out, but they're going to look for cards here anyway, so I'm probably going to get to Mana Leak something. I can Bane Fires and see Minor Blight. It's just too slow. Wouldn't be bad here. But across the board, it's just a little too slow. Hopefully they just jam something. We're going to let that go. Dude, why don't you play into my cards, man? All right, let's get this Teferi going. All right. I think I'm going to path to exile this. So there's no way that we die here, right? I guess I can do it with my opponent's upkeep. Because they're going to have to go 1, 2, core calling, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Probably have to actually just like wait. I probably can like never tap out again. Because they can just like core calling. For resto, bounce witness, and then get Kiki Jiki. So probably just have to like probably slow down. <clears throat> then like ride this to ferry. 
Because they go to combat, then I'm good. I can snap path something. I can definitely end of turn. Snapcaster path something. Okay. So let's block something that's going to get me life. And then I will Snapcaster path the tireless tracker and hope we don't get blown out here I'm fairly certain there are ways we do get blown out here but I'm just hoping that doesn't happen yes I did yeah you, you were right there Ray I definitely wanted to block with the snapcaster like trade here block this yeah I definitely muffed up there Ray <clears throat> you are super right. This was not good for the home team. Because, I mean, I lose two, two counters on my Teferi, which could matter. Then my Snapcaster can't block next turn. But we're going to jam this Lyra next turn. Crack my opponent in the air for six. <clears throat> Definitely missed out on a little bit here. What is this? A resto? Or is this them? This is them going like they're gonna kiki for resto. So they're gonna kiki for the combo. And then the resto protects the combo. No, they can't do it all at the same time, which is good. Oh, Shalai, Jesus. I did not think about that. That is not good. Holy shnikes. All right, what can I do here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not think about Shalai at all. You got wrecked because of it. All right, let's get rid of this. This is going to get them in a land, though, which I didn't think about. And now let's just jam this Lyra. And then hopefully we can just, like, ride some Baneslayer Angels to, to victory, but that's, that's not going to be easy. My opponent's board is just so huge. It's maybe maybe I shouldn't have played this out here because I need a wrath so bad. Oh my god, wasn't that a huge blowout? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I get a noble hierarch. One, two, three. So they can't put counters on anything this turn. I'm just going to chump block this thing. I could just fire up my colonnade and crack them for like a lot of damage in the air. That doesn't do anything. I think we're just going to serve. Because, like, everything we have is bigger. We're going to gain at least six life. 
I don't think I'm dead on the crackback, but I haven't done the math. Okay. Should have countered that. Oh my god, I am all over the place tonight. Could have just mana leaked that and got in for a bunch of damage. Not good. Now there's a chance that I'm just dead on this crack back, but whatever. What is this? Two. Next turn it'll be two, four, nine, two, four, thirteen. 2, 4, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's what six counters on this to kill me. They can just play the combo. Oh, I could have just countered this and, like, oh my gosh. At least now we can mail leak the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, dude, crack me for a million. I guess now I serve in... I guess I don't even serve in with all of my... This thing you do is make a bad tilt play, shake it off, and not make more tilt. Yeah. You have the combo assembled. So this blocks this, this blocks this, this blocks colonnade. I could leave colonnade back to block this, but I only gain like 10 life doing that. I think I'm going to crack in with both of my angels. One, two. If I attack with both of my angels, he goes block, 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 sack. Next turn, block this. I gain six life and just like hope we don't die. I'll gain some life, but not a lot. And I'm going to just try to chump block this tireless tracker with my colonnade. And then I block. I block with a colonnade this turn. The next turn I fire up colonnade, and he's got a three lethal attackers. Just dead at like any point to a splinter twin, or not splinter twin to Kiji. <coughs> Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five. I could, as sad as it sounds, next turn, wrath the board. I could just take this and wrath and wrath everything. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this, serve with both of my creatures, and then just wrath the board next turn. And then hope they don't cord for another selfless spear or something like that. But if they they would just cord for an X-Heart if they were going to do that. Yeah, we're just going to swing in, gain 11 life, and then wrath the board and hope to figure it out. Let me just make sure I don't hit like a cryptic command here. Hieroglyphic Illumination, Settle the Wreckage. One, two, three, four. 
bounce. We can't do that. So we'd have to jace into it. One, two, three, four. Jace brainstorming to settle. How greedy is that? Or is that like just my best play? Like Jace brainstorming to settle the wreckage? Put on the bottom, put on top. Oh, can't settle with July because it gives you a hex proof. So I wish I'd done this the different way. Let's put them both on the bottom. Let's crack in, wrath the board, and play Jace. Yeah. I haven't played that much standard. What's going on here? Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature. Okay. Get everything out of here. <clears throat> really hope this works out. I don't have a good plan if it doesn't. I don't even know if I had to wrath here, but this tireless tracker just has me in the abyss. And I'm probably just gonna play Jason tick up on myself. Now nah, I'm just gonna brainstorm. Not even gonna play a land yet. I haven't even played a land for turn, so I've not played this game very well. <clears throat> All right, we can beat that. Beat that. Manalik, a resto. I guess I just go now. Tap their team. Tap their team. Draw a card. Yep, that's the plan. It does feel sweet to be able to go over the top of these like weird situations. This deck. Though they can sack, no, they only have one red source, so they can't sack their thopters. My god, this game went forever. Might not finish this league. This match just went forever here. Well, we don't have mana leak and be able to attack with our colonnade, unfortunately. So we play on. Burn. 
But I think I can activate two colonnades next turn. They're going to be able to get my Jace, which is kind of sad. But if cards become the actual issue, then we can just Illumination our way out of this. My opponent just won't die. I went from like way far ahead to way dead to way far ahead to like not super far ahead this game. <laughs> like what an odd day. Hey, how's it going, um, Micah? Oh, I'm tired. They're just coming at, they're just sending a message. So they have a, they've got a plan for the colonnades. Eldritch Evolution. Okay. Probably done my 13 hour shift to work. That's good. The important thing is they're converting a leak on turn 14. Yes. Now prepping for career Friday. Is that next week? Resto. Blink this. Jeez, I'm crow. Just like embrace the grind. All right. Cast this. All right, we're going to get rid of this because I don't want to get comboed next turn. And then we can hold up Snap Cryptic, try to do that at the end of their turn. We'll actually have to go, ooh, that makes it like in fetch now. But I've actually got to go Cryptic, tap their team on their turn. They're gonna start chucking thopters at me probably. Okay, so shuffling away the resto. Going to talk with the target for DC management. Can snap hit sorceries. Yeah I can. So maybe you say I should have snap verdicted. That probably would have been better. Yeah. Got distracted. So now we're just going to tap their team and draw a card. Actually, no, I'm going to tap their team. No, actually. Oh, this is annoying. I would like to go tap their team, bounce this Pia. But they're just going to, like, kill me if I do that. Well, not necessarily, right? So if I just go let them do this. If I let them do this, go into combat. Flash in Snapcast Mage, block this. They're going to hit me for. I can just block the Pia, or threaten to block the Pia. I need to get the Pia off the board. So if I just flash in Snapcaster Mage, target Path to Exile. Okay, I can then block this, Path the Pia. They get a token. No, I have to tap their team. There's a way to win here. I'm just like, might be too tired to figure it out. So they can do two, three, four, five, six damage. We put me to eight. And then do they have four red sources to fling four thopters? One, two, three, four. They can't fling three thopters. So what we're going to do, we're going to flash. Well, this is going to let this resolve. We're going to flash in our Snapcaster Mage. And. We're going to target Cryptic Command. So let us block, and then we're going to Cryptic Command, tap our opponent's team down, and then hope we win next turn. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I should have snapped Wrath. Yeah, I'm, I'm just tired. Okay, so we're going to let this go. We're going to let them attack, flash in Snapcaster Mage, target Cryptic Man, chump block here, 
and then we're going to try and tap all of my opponent's cards and then kill them with the colonnades. This is only seven damage. I'm not crazy, right? Seven, and then they need three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can only throw three thopters. Well, now I can flash this in. Block, target crypt command, block this. Block their elemental. Yeah. You're going to jump the fatty. And then we're going to bounce the Pia, tap my opponent's team. And then we should hopefully return target permanent. So return this, tap all their creatures. They get another token. There we go. All right, I think I'm going to call it a night. I am exhausted. That match took a, took a bit out of me there. Well, we can probably get one more. Let's go one more. That was quite... We'll get at least two matches done in this league. Yeah, I mean, I knew, like... I knew we probably could win that turn. I just had to do it right. Had to chump. Had to, like, use my crypto command right. Time everything right. This hand is no good. Because we need another land. This hand is not that great, but at least we have a card that makes it so we don't die easily, die quickly. My opponent mulligan, too, which was great. <coughs> Went to the bathroom. Yeah, I got it. Twas not easy. I ended up having to like bounce their P and bounce their P and K, tap their team with the cryptic command. Oh, Grove of the Barnwell. So we're playing against Ironworks. Yeah. I'm glad that I've been playing. So I've been playing this deck. So oh, playing against Red Green Eldrazi. No, we didn't need a second turn this. No ceremonies rejections. Yeah, I don't know if it's right or not, but I just grabbed a, a deck list, played two leagues with it, and then called it. We're going to oust this matter of shaper. I think we're just going to look to protect our life totals. Oh, well, now we're going to... Unfortunately, this has to get another white source, which means we're pretty far off casting Crypt Command. Oh, I guess it's not going to get another white source. We can slow down my opponent's mana here. Thought Red Green. It did, yeah. You still play Bant? Yes, because you're an animal, Ray. You're an actual animal, Ray. Drowsy Obligator. Crashing in for six. I'm probably going to oust this matter reshaper. I just need to just make it to my sweet cards. <coughs> the less played, the better. I think everyone knows how to play against that deck, right? Maybe people will forget. You never know. There was one with Bobbles. Dude, that deck is sweet. Oh, they're going to cascade right into this. The absolute value. 
Mentors and Bobbles. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. 21 lands. Am I just dead? Super dead. 369. Dead as a doorknob. We need one more spell. Which, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. I'm going to have to check that deck. I, I saw a guy tweeting about it earlier in the week. I talked a little bit. I just hopped on that Twitter chain for a second, asked a couple questions. Okay, so this is good. This is good. Totally's good. I'm going to go with my counter spells are not good. Click's probably not great either. Doesn't tango in combat very well. I really hope my opponent sides out some of their Eldrazi Obligators. Then I'll make them feel stupid with my Baneslayer Angel. But, like, that's just something that's going to end up happening. I don't think we can get around it. I think Mark Tobias list. He did well the Dutch Open Series with it. I'm a Jeremy Ma amongst that with Mentor Myth Realized. Yeah, you told me about that that deck when we were at the Margaritas. There, Ray. It's budget and bad. The best combination. <clears throat> I would like to play first. And I think we're gonna keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we have some serum vision to smooth out smooth this out. Alright, we don't want either of these. This might be like a like a serum visions on one, two, snap serum visions on three kind of a hand. I do think we want these now. Now we've like hit two lands. Hopefully my opponent plays a creature next turn so we can get our timely on. <coughs> Play a dude. Are we gonna get the full value off it? Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. And with Timely Reinforcements, it's good. It's so good. Just going to bink, trade. Before Jace, I used the Oltenar set against Burn. Man, does that feel good? Nice. Oh, yeah, back when it was in standard. People thought that Narset was like the second coming of Jace when that card was printed. I remember that. People were like, this card, because this card is just like nuts. People were playing it in their legacy decks for a little while. Love playing with Esper Super Friends Standard. Yep. You gotta work with what you got. This is what the deck that I was thinking about for Standard. Actually just kind of like built it a little bit. I didn't I couldn't um I couldn't do anything with uh I can't use the new cards yet. They aren't even the standard thing. Damn it. Or are they in free form? Where'd they go? Oh man. Must have like not saved it. <coughs> Took my Snapcaster Mage. I guess he really did not want to get Snap Time Lead. So I could bounce this. 
and then get Reality Smashered, which wouldn't be great. Alternatively, I could tick up, but that all just seems a little sketchy. I think I'd like, I would, I'd like to go, if my opponent plays a Reality Smasher, I'd like to go counter it, bounce the Thought Knots here, and then play Jace on an open board. Oh, I didn't see it. It was just like a blue-white control deck that played all the Jumpstart cards and also played like... Um, it played the Jumpstart cards and it played... Oh, Cavern? you got to be kidding me. Um... So now here's the big question. I think we're going to bounce one of these. So let's just return this one to their hand. Let's draw a card. We're probably going to take my Jace. But this kind of like alleviates the board a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure the shell of Salisbury starts to be strong. Yeah, now we have two Jaces, which is gas. And we do Detention Sphere. Double gas. I took Detention Sphere. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Just gonna needle my Jace. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, well. All right. What a huge blowout that pivoting needle is. Not until, not for another three months, Ray. Probably takes my Terminus. Plays Temple. What are you getting with this Temple? Matter Reshaper. So we can threaten a block here, which I don't know if my opponent's going to respect or not. Don't reality smash me. Blood right off Jesus. I have to figure out what I'm going to do here, because, like, I don't really want to take 10. But I have to get this Pithing Needle off the board in order to like keep playing Magic. So I kind of have to take 10. Like, just bounce this Needle, draw a card. Then like bounce the Thought Knot Seer. There's the Matter Shaper. I guess I can go Counter Bounce. That's nine dead to a lightning bolt. Now I think we're just gonna look for cards at this point. So let's just return, draw a card. Yep. A wrath would be decent. Bounce this thought not seer.
We didn't want to see that right there. So we have two out of the four cards in our opponent's hand. Two out of the three. So this search for his can't is going to be good. They should just send these all at me. Yep. Bolt. Okay. That was their card they didn't have was a lightning bolt. All right, that was a quick one. We can keep going. Do you concede to hide the settle? I lost game one. So that is that is the game. That is the match, unfortunately. I don't know. Sell the wreckage is a card that is nice to have your opponents not know you have. <clears throat> okay, we will keep this. I guess I would go fetch Hollow Fountain in the dark. I don't think we want either of these. We just need lands. Though we might want, like, Jace might be that important. So we'll, we'll miss a land drop to draw Jace. We do have to win the game. Alright, we're playing a mirror. Our deck's pretty solid in the mirror because we have illuminations. I've found. Like the illuminations are really, really nice. I'm not too convinced in settle a lot of human. A lot of humans really like to see their hand a lot. Mm-hmm. But does it yeah, it does hold the graveyard decks. For sure. We land. That counts. Oh, they missed a land drop. Man, we are going to upkeep Cryptic Bounce. Put their land back in their hand, I think. Return, return, target permanent, draw a card. They don't have a lot of counter spells that actually deal with this too. They need like mail leak. Because logic knot doesn't do it. They're just getting snapcaster into play. Okay. So now we're just gonna like oust this. So now they at least they get to opt if they want to. So now we're just gonna oust this and brainstorm. Really, it's all I need. All right. So we're definitely gonna brainstorm. We don't need either of these. Let's not fetch a basic. Get this thing out of here. We'll deal with that Snapcaster Mage later. All right, the hill land. Don't desphere me. It's on the C play sensor. Kind of want to try it. It's a cool card. Oh, they have. They've got red in their deck. I could have Serum Visions. I probably should have. I don't really think I want to do anything. I think I kind of just want to keep Jacing. I've got two counter spells. Yeah, I want to hit one more land drop so I can have both counter spells if I decide to fight over something. They might like act my upkeep here though. 
Nope, they just let me draw. Draw to or click. I wanted one more mana. Now I'm a little less worried about that because we have this, we have Jace. So I just put my Jace on top so they can shuffle it away, which is a little sketchy. We also know they have the Snapcaster. So let's go Malik Snapcaster. <coughs> and now we can use them to like, we're really going to fight over this Jace because we can just like jam our own Jace. Again, if they put a lot of resources into it. I kind of want to click them and then figure out what I want to do. Because I could just block this. Especially they don't have as much mana. So let's do this. Because I can, I can just block this thing. And if they just path me then I'm all right with that. Actually, I'm not all right with a path me because I lose my Jace. I think I missed that because I, I want to draw my Jace. All right, if they want to spend their entire turn, yeah, so we're just not going to let them take anything. We're not going to take anything. And then we're going to negate this spell snare. Then my opponent's got to rip a way to get this Jace off the board, which they did. Ooh, that's a good one. They get to get like bang, bang, and that was a, that was a good rip. All right. Now let's brainstorm. Not hitting a land there is a little unfortunate. And I think I'm just going to snap oust this. So continue, continuing to let my opponent reuse Snapcaster Mage probably isn't great for me. So I might just Serum Visions, because they need to remove my Snapcaster and have a way to finish this Jace off. So I think I'm just going to Serum Visions and help to clear my Brainstorm. Yeah. Put on the bottom, put on top. These are bolt my Jace, which would be pretty solid for them, but then we get to land this Teferi because we can we can't go Teferi snap negate. So we might have to play like a little Drago with these illuminations. They're just bouncing the Jace, okay. They can't counter it on the way down. I think I'm going to land this Teferi, because Teferi's just a little more mana efficient. Yeah, why don't we just do that? And Teferi's like less likely going to die. Why can't you Teferi snap the gate? I meant, I meant on the stack, Ray. Like we, we can do that now, but we, could, we couldn't do it on the stack. Yeah, nice scoop it up. This card's so good. I do think that this card almost, like, 
is I think this card's like overall better than Jace. And if we weren't playing as many miracles, you'd play more of these and less of these. So my buddy brings in Bane Slayer Angel in this matchup. I don't know if that's exactly right to do, but I'm just gonna do it because he knows the deck better than I do. We're gonna cut this. Cut this. We're gonna cut these outs and a couple paths. And that's what we're gonna do. When do you bring in rest in peace to cut snap? Probably. Teferi might be like, like I don't, I don't think Teferi. I think it's really close to think if Teferi dominated, um, standard like Gideon did. Teferi is definitely better in older formats than Gideon. But like, it's, it's pretty up there. In Storm, you just need some two ones and some some ambush vipers and some graveyard hate. Um. Yeah, it sounds pretty solid. I thought we can get like a search under us, which is a little, little sketch, but we're going to hit land drops, which is good. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people in these control mirrors, they're going to start floundering when they start missing, start missing land drops. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, green-white tokens. This is my, this is my favorite standard deck I ever played. Dude, Gideon was the MFR of standard. The motherfucking ally of Zendikar. I don't know who's favorite in this matchup, but I would think that the person with Electrolyze would be. Like, Electrolyze just seems exactly what you want to do. No, we're, we're cast. We're getting this, this bad boy's got a two for one written all over it, Ray. All right, they're going to send in their little snap boy. Depending on what... Yeah, so we're probably going to draw step this click because we can't stop a Jace from coming down anyways. And it also threatens to trade with the Snapcaster. Maybe I should have boarded out click because it's really bad against Electrolyze. I'm getting clicked. They're targeting me. What's that targeting me? So let's click them. We're going to lose our Teferi more than likely. I think I'm just going to take this Electrolyze. It's a pretty solid hand for my opponent. It might be better just to take the Snapcaster Mage and take my Lumps. But no, I'm just going to get rid of this. Make it so that if they want to kill this um, click, there's a real cost to killing it. <coughs> Gotta take Snap. I wanted to, but I think that, like... I want this click to trade, or I want to, them to give me a land resource. I don't want them to kill this click, have me draw a card, and then have them um, 
have them draw like kill the click, have them draw and crack me for five. Oh, they missed the land drop. I am clicked again. Probably gonna take my search. This is where if I hit a path, it's gonna really suck, but I think I'm gonna go I think I'm just gonna go path snap path. They suspended in ancestral visions. I think I'm going to upkeep path this click. That is some aggressive stuff from our opponent. <clears throat> then in their draw step. So let's just hit this. So what are the odds? I probably just can't field them because if they hit a two mana counter spell, it's so bad for me. So it would have to be their only other card. I don't think fielding them is worth that. So let's just negate this. Yeah, it's aggro control. As much as I would like to field them there. Yes, put Colony in the graveyard. Their negate heart was better. That's what that's what you determine is what makes what makes a negate. This is pretty interesting. Wow, that was such a dynamite draw. So we know they have a path. So I can actually tuck a snap cast. No. So we're going to play Teferi. Tick Teferi up. And then in my end step, snap path. Um, one of their snapcaster mages. Oh, that's pretty gas. Those look good. I guess I might as well make them use their mana on their turn. But I really want this to resolve. I don't want to go to two. So let's just pass this um, path one of these Snapcaster Mages. <coughs> there are so many different negate arts. One, two, three, four, five. I might field in response to my search. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because the search is going to flip, which just gives me more mana. Wow, they're just going right at me. That's, I guess it, that's pretty aggressive. Because I want to just flip my search. Now I flip search, I can, because like this costs two right here, only costs two. If I flip search, it only costs one, then I get it done. Yeah, they are trying to burn me out. One, two, 
one, two, three. Cryptic command bounce. Okay, so they've got. So they have Snapcaster Mage, and that's it in their hand. No, we don't get the flip. Whoa. Put on the bottom. We probably want both of these. Put on top. Put on top. Plus to fairy. I think it's going to be tough to kill me through this. But one of their cards is a Snapcaster Mage. They need three burn spell. They need three burn spells to kill me and only two red sources of mana. So but that was two pretty solid draws. I did not leave him timely. So here comes Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage targets Lightning Bolt. Their last card has to be a removal. It has to be a counter spell to get this. A card that's just there to gain life seems kind of mopey. You know? Like it doesn't trade. Plus life points is what you count as. But my opponent's been very aggressive with the burn. God, they hit. That is so savage. I mean, we hit too, but they also hit. All right, they got it. On to game three. So they're really aggressive. They left in like all of their burn. So I do I do think that it's probably decent to do this. I have the Bane Slayer Angels in, but they have paths as well. I just need to like not die in the early game. I feel like I'm gonna win. I'm gonna cut my clicks. Because while both of these are pretty poor against Electrolyze, at least this one gains a bunch of life. I was very surprised a lot. I mean, I guess I wasn't super surprised, but. First, yep, I would like to keep. We'll fetch probably an island with the way my opponent was playing. There's probably just no need to go super helter skelter with my life total. Put this on top. Then we can fetch this tapped and like a tap hollow fountain and then go next turn. It's so hard to resolve. I think my opponent's deck's a little different than that though. Like they're obviously not as high on the counter magic. But something has to go if they're leaving in that much burn. <coughs> I'll put this on the bottom. I do think we want a Jace. So let's put Jace on top. Split the J-Boy. We probably wanted another land, too, unfortunately. I think that probably would have made sense. There's nothing unfortunate about it, because we want to be able to go, like, Jace on five. My opponent just flashed in the Snapcaster, like, on two. We're going to do it this game, too. They're going to opt. Okay. Why are they shocked to do that? <laughs> two ops. They opt in for a good time. Yeah, they double opt. This opt art is so sweet. Yeah. You don't want to get your Jace bolted. Because that is awful. It's still a two for one. What's going on, Philly boy? I'm actually pretty much okay if my opponent clicks me here. It's going to be kind of annoying if my opponent plays a Jace. Because, like, I'll probably have to go to Fairy by this on it, and then we'll be able to bolt it. 
which isn't good. Snap, cast a mage. Good card. Good card. One of the best creatures ever printed. <clears throat> yep, I get a search. So I think I'm likely to brainstorm with this Jace because I have Dispel. And I would like to get the card. Yeah. I'll take my opponent two Lightning Bolts to kill this thing. And a Lightning Bolt still kills it because they have Snapcaster Mage. Jason defeat probably. Jason defeat would be sweet in this one matchup. You are right. And we're just gonna brainstorm. We've got enough. Like lightning bolt still kills us. Maybe we can play like timely reinforcements if it's legal. You are right, Ray. You are technically right. I fielded my ghost quarter. Okay, so that's because they're looking to fire up this colonnade. They're going to electrolyze me. They electrolyze my Jace. That's going to kind of suck. Timely, okay. That was not bad. So let's get rid of this and this. Shuffle these away. And then play. Oh, I didn't get another white source. No. All right, let's jam this to fairy. We are going to lose our planeswalk. One of our planeswalkers to an attack, which is just because I made a mistake. We don't have to if they. If they don't fire up their colonnade, then we can just path one of these. So we're in decent shape. They took it over to Fairy. They did, yep. You were right there. That's one of Jay's, that's one of to Fairy. I'm gonna path this. Three. God, if they end up getting my both of my planeswalkers here, this is so bad. But like there's nothing I can do. If they have lightning bolt exactly, then I'm in a lot of trouble. But I've got everything but lightning bolt pretty much covered. Let's save like another. Okay, so this is going to live, which is important. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
all just coming up just a little. Alright, so there's a land. So let's go put on top, put on top. We'll cycle this, make our land drop. And then we'll try to interact in combat with this click and this snapcaster. Probably just like cryptic tap bounce the colonnade. Turn target permanent. Let's just hope they don't have two counter spells. Two counter spells would be no good. If they have two counter spells, we might be just behind now. Do you have another one? They got another one. God damn it. Now we're just now it looks like now I think we're pretty far behind. Can't draw that land. That was a sick draw. Does that do anything? Goes up to five. I almost wanted to slam the Teferi, but like, I just couldn't protect it reliably. Do you have another counterspell, man? Dude, don't do me like that. You just fire up this colony. What are you doing? This is his first strike. Oh, he has a path. Jesus. No cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Uh, we'd have to hit a land in order to go to ferry. I do want to try to hit a land drop, so we are going to cycle this. All right, logic knots nice, but in my opponent's upkeep, we're going to go tap draw. All right, cryptic command. Oh, this is also bad because of double colonnades. All right, I guess we actually just have to wait until combat and maybe like we messed this game up when I didn't um. I think I'm gonna have them tap their if they want to spend all it put me to one then like whatever they put me to one. Um tap your creatures opponents control draw a card. I should have done this. This is all bad. Like I, I just got like flustered. I should have just done this in my upkeep. In their upkeep, not even like giving them a chance to draw a card. I should have just been okay going to one. My god, dude. This guy is ripped. Like a son of a bitch. So 
So we can look at two cards. We can look at four cards for path. Just untap. Yeah, I think that's our best chance of winning. What are you revealing, my friend? I'm not very happy with the way I played this game. The problem is if I path the colonnade, is it a dispel? Dispel probably seals the deal. The problem is if I if I path the colonnade, like these things are coming in. So maybe that's what I should have done. I'm not sure. So if I could have if I could have done that, yeah, I should have done that, because then I could have slammed it to fair. Yeah, I'm not very happy with how I played this game. <coughs> I made a mistake with my land that cost because I could have gotten like Teferi plus Angel in play at the same. I could have gotten Teferi plus Angel in play with a counterspell or with a path because I messed my lands up. That screwed me. And now I have to cycle into something because of the dispel. What are you going to do, bud? It's Counterspell, you're looking for... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We know they have Dispel, so we're just dead. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I did not play this game very well, and that ended up costing me. Because we know they have Dispel. Yep. Yeah, I was not happy with that. I don't think I'm gonna bring the angels in. Well no, I should have I should have won this, but I do think the angels are not good. After playing them. I do not like the angels. But I think that is going to be